these are gonna be five essentials that I bring to the studio and that maybe you should start bringing to the studio as well. So I'm just gonna get started. The most important thing that you're gonna need to have when you go to the studio is one of these. This is a flash drive. Um, it's just in the form of Tweety, just take its head off. And um, yeah, they come in all kind of shapes, sizes, colors. Mine personally is a four gigabyte. But if you want more space, you can definitely get something bigger like 16, 32, you know, 64, whatever size, whatever you want. You can find these everywhere. Walmart, Target, A-Lots, Amazon. You need this because you want to save time. You want to save your time, which is your money, and you want to save the engineer's time as well. You want to come with your beat already downloaded if you're looking if you're using snippets or um sound effects or anything specific to save time so you don't have to look for it download it just to cut that out just have it on your usb that way they can just drag and drop into your session um also it comes in handy because personally sometimes well some engineers will go ahead and give you your stems so like your, the, all the vocal tracks, all the ad lib tracks, and the whole session that they used, they'll um, put it on your put it on your USB. It's just easier for them. They can't really send all of that in your email. I think they can if they like compress in a folder. Long story short, though, you just you want to save time. So just having this ready, they can just drag and drop when you're done. Some engineers don't even do that. They say bring a flash drive or you're not gonna be able to get your stuff. Um, some engineers, like I said, will send it to your email, but usually that will only be like the MP3 uh, version of your song. So just having a USB will make things go a little bit smoother. Um, and it's also kind of like professional. You're gonna run into somebody saying that you need a flash drive. So go ahead and get you a flash drive. The second thing or the next thing that um, I usually bring is some headphones. These come in handy because usually before I even go into the studio, like if you're trying to save money going, you know, studio time and stuff, um, I would recommend that you do like a practice run of your song, whether it's like on your phone or on an app, already have it laid out. So when you get there, you already know, have an idea of what it is that you want to do. Um, the headphones help maybe while you're recording you're like oh I forgot how to say this or how I said it how my cadence was or uh, what I lib did I say right here um, if you didn't annotate it in your notes or whatever you, you wrote it down or whatever um, just go ahead you know you have some quick headphones you can put them in play the song be like oh I did it like that okay put them away also, they come in handy after you've recorded your song and the engineer is mixing. If you kind of just want to scroll on your phone and maybe you have to take a phone call, just go ahead and put your headphones in so you're not disturbing the engineer when they're trying to listen to your song and trying to, you know, mix it and stuff. Um, I will say though, um, don't just completely tune out the engineer because you still want to be aware of what they're doing with your song. You still want to be involved. It is your song. You know, sometimes engineers go crazy with the effects and beat drops and this and that, or maybe they took something out that you wanted to stay in. So still be like involved in your song. Um, you know, you could just wear one headphone, but yeah, I just wanted to like elaborate on that. Headphones, I'd recommend you bring them and use them. Um, another thing that I would recommend that you have is water and snacks. Water because you can get into a cough attack or maybe your throat gets dry. Um, this is just water, I put meal in it. Um, but not all the time is the engineer going to have water. Not all the time are they going to have water bottles. So you just want to come prepared. Um, and then with the snacks especially, I get hungry sometimes before like studios and events. I don't have time to eat or I forget to eat. So having snacks that are actually going to hold you over. So 
trail mix, maybe getting a sandwich or picking up food beforehand. Um, even a Snickers bar, if it really comes down to it. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything like chips or anything that just kind of feels like air and it's not going to fill you up or hold you over. So actually bring things that are going to fill you up. So I recommend trail mix, water, you can a granola bar or something. Um, just make sure you come with some type of water and snacks. Um, another thing I would say um, if you're going to the studio, um, wear your clothing in layers because not every studio is going to have AC and they might not even have a fan. So you want to wear things like um, short sleeves, you know, and just bring like your hoodies and and jackets or cardigans or whatever. This one's a C13 one. I made it myself. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But um, having layers of clothing, I would recommend. Me personally, I run cold. I'm always cold. So I always have like a cardigan or um, jacket with me. And then sometimes, you know, you don't know. You're in the booth. Um, it gets hot. There's little to no air circulation going on because you don't want it to interfere with the mic so if you're rapping and singing and stuff you want and you get hot you want to be able to just take your cardigan or your hoodie off um so you're not in there like drenched in sweat so the next thing which is probably the last thing i'm going to mention in this video is just coming with some extra cash on you um for a tip so engineering mixing all that stuff is a service-based career just like any other career like service-based career like if you go to the barber shop you tip your barber when you go out to the club you tip your bartender when you when you get your when you get your hair done you tip your hair person you get your nails done you know so if you genuinely like your engineer like you like that they're professional, you like the way they work, they listen to you, and you can tell that, you know, they actually did a good job, you know, just bringing a little bit of extra cash on you um, is nice, you know, whether it's like 10 bucks or if it's a 20, um, just because not all the time that engineer, they get the full amount, like whatever they charge you, may all of that, like not, even like including taxes or anything that they have to take out but like sometimes they have to pay the building or the room that they're renting so they only get probably like a portion of whatever it is that you give them so you know it's just a nice gesture you know they were in there with you for two to three hours they were doing a great job you know they can go pick something up from you know some food or whatever um after you know that session um definitely if they did a good job i would say um go ahead and tip um it creates a good impression because not everybody tips their engineers and um they'll remember you they'll want to work with you they'll want to squeeze you in um the next time they know oh okay let me put my foot in this because you know i want to make this person happy they tip you know so i think making it a habit to come with some cash to tip your engineers is a good practice um you don't always have to feel compelled to tip like if you didn't really like what they did you don't like how your vocals not on your part but like the mixing side of it you know because like sometimes you get songs and they just sound raw your vocals sound raw or you just feel like things could be better um but if they tried like if they tried their best then you know a little some some you know a little some will help but yeah so those are the things that i take with me to the studio um let me know which thing that you're like hmm that's a good idea i think i'm gonna bring that to my next studio session um, if you like content like this, you know, the whole spiel, like and comment, subscribe and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, good luck and yeah. yeah.